In this video, I am going to break down uh, a $10 million year in sales. And what I mean by that is I'm going to just use averages to show you like what my average selling price is, how many units I'm selling per day, and, and just give you an overview of what $10 million in sales looks like. It's, it's not really a big deal when you break it down and you think of it as individual pieces. When you hear $10 million, especially if you're struggling and you're selling five or $10,000 a month on Amazon, and you just can't imagine that there is a $10 million year in your future, this actually may help you quite a bit. I've had students leave my course because they didn't feel like they were making progress quickly enough. But in many cases, they were already at a three hundred dollars or $400,000 a year level, and they didn't realize that they were just a few products away from having a million dollar year in sales. And then once you hit a million dollars a year in sales, you're not that far away from hitting $10 million a year in sales. Sometimes it's a question of adding in additional product, and sometimes it's really just a question of loading the product that you're already selling, that you've already proven to be a, a sellable winning product. It's about just giving it time to embed itself into the Amazon algorithm and into the Amazon marketplace and letting customers find it. So patience is probably the, the, the most important thing I want to convey to you in this video and, and the need for patience. Do not snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Do not quit too soon. Give your products every chance you possibly can to be successful. And that first and foremost means giving them the time to be successful. Sell boring products that are evergreen products. Do not waste your time and your energy constantly looking for the next best thing, the new hottest thing, the, the newest trending item. Those items can be huge for a couple of months and then just completely go away and to never be heard from again. Think fidget spinners. I know people that have 25,000 fidget spinners in their garage. No, not me. But when the market for fidget spinners went away, it went away almost overnight. You don't want to be left holding the bag for a, a product or a product niche that has absolutely no life left in it. It's just not where you want to be. Sell boring, evergreen products that people always need They've been using them for 50 years in the past and they'll be using them for 50 years in the future. So let me use my magic tripod here, flip this camera around so you can see the screen and I'll break down a $10 million year for you. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so this is a breakdown of a $10 million year of sales. And this is specifically my 2021 uh, and how the data from it broke out. And like I mentioned during the intro, um, if, if you kind of ignore the $10 million figure and just think of this as a bunch of individual items, a bunch of individual SKUs, uh, and you're just, you're, it's just like stacking blocks when you're a child. You're looking for blocks that are uh, reliable and are sustainable and you just want to keep adding blocks until you get to your sales goal. Uh, it's just not as big a deal as you might have thought, uh, but it does require patience and, and due diligence. But it is completely doable. There's no uh, magic involved. Um, so, you know, let's look at what's on this page here and uh, just talk about this a little bit. So, I carry. 56 products, uh, or I did in 2021. Um, I used 53 of these products for this estimate. Uh, I included the, the value of sales for the, the three extra products that are missing from the estimates, but I did not uh, include the price of those three products because they were high-priced items. They were you know thousands of dollars, and it would have skewed uh, the numbers all over the place. It would have uh, just been very misleading. But anyway, my um, average product selling price is $58.50. Uh, actual cost of, of the various products I sell 
of the fifty of the fifty three items I use for these estimates uh, is between twenty two dollars and one hundred and twenty four dollars. Um, I do skew fairly high in that range of twenty two to one twenty four. Uh, as you see the note there, the bulk of my products uh, fall in the fifty to seventy five dollar range, and uh, I really would tend to say it's it's probably more fifty to ninety five dollars uh, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I do not shy away from more expensive products, and uh, I don't think you should either. As I've mentioned in other videos, I don't think you should be selling things, um, you know, that that return you less than ten dollars per sell in net profit. Um, and in order to get ten dollars reliably, you have to. Uh, you have to go to higher priced items. Um, for the year, uh, approximately 170,940 pieces were sold. Um, that number is pretty doggone accurate, um, you know, due to delays with Amazon, uh, due to, you know, some products that go missing, the things that, that we all have to deal with as Amazon sellers. Uh, I could be off by a little bit, but that is basically what my invoices showed. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty reliable number. Um, that works out to about 3,561 products per week or about 14,245 products per month. Um, breaking it down a little bit further, uh, that is 509 products per day or about 21.2 products per hour. And uh, average daily sales per item so that would be uh, across the 53 items that I use for these estimates. Uh, I'm selling about 9.06 of each item per day. And, and that's a very important number. Um, you know, everybody talks about items that are going to go viral. They always want their, their product to go viral. And in my experience, and I've, I've had a couple of viral products, but in my experience, that is... Um, it's not necessarily a good thing because one, if, if a product just explodes into the marketplace and, and encounters demand beyond what you anticipated, it probably means that you are not stocked adequately to, to, uh, to address that demand. And with the delays in shipping and the delays in getting products replenished, it's likely that you know, you'll go from just a, a, a viral boom item to an item that kind of goes bust until you can get things replenished. And then by the time you get things replenished, you'll probably have more competition than you had previously. And uh, it, it just creates um, uh, you know, massive swings in volatility for a product. Um, and that's not, in my opinion, that's not really a good thing. I'm looking for products that come out and just have a long, slow burn ideally for at least two to three years. I, I do not have a lot of churning in my portfolio of products. Uh, I believe in finding, again, boring products that are going to sell uh, reliably and sustainably and that I can uh, source fairly easily. So I tend to stick with uh, you know very common, very boring products. Um, with the asterisk there, I just uh, I've already mentioned the fact that I did eliminate three products uh, from the from the the pricing range estimate just because they were so expensive it would have skewed uh, that number. Um, we're we're talking large products that are obviously well they're four to eight thousand dollars in price, and they are shipped by truck and and it's it's pretty much outside. Um, well, also I should say they're FBM, not FBA, uh, but they are also outside the scope of uh, a typical FBA seller. Um, it's just th those aren't products that you're likely to ever sell um, in your Amazon career. Uh, but lastly, you know, I just want to go back and, and just point out again, you know, 9.06 items per day of a SKU is not an insurmountable problem. 9 to 10 sales per day is pretty much my target goal when I launch a product. It's what my advertising is intended to, to achieve, uh, it's what my pricing is intended to achieve, and it's what my product selection 
which started in most cases weeks or maybe even months before that product ever comes to market, but it's what my product selection was designed to achieve. I'm looking for products that can sell consistently, sustainably, about 10 products per day. That's all that I need. As you see here, at my average selling price of $58.50, that would work out to about $530 per day per item, uh, or about almost $16,000 per month. So when you're out there and you're looking for uh, these magical $10,000 a month products, again, realize that we're not talking about something that's just crazy. Here you are again. Okay, so, you know, let me just... Let me just reiterate again, you know, we're looking at products that are selling nine to 10 items a day. And using my example here, you know, one SKU at an average of 58.50 per day with nine sales is a almost $16,000 per month product. I can't tell you how many of my students I've seen drop products that that they were frustrated with because they weren't selling $10,000 a month, but they're, they're selling a product that is 10 or 12 or maybe $20 in, in cost. And the, you have to sell a lot of those. You have to really just dominate your niche in order to sell $10,000 a month worth of a $20 product. When you're selling almost a $60 product on average, again, you're, you're only talking about nine pieces per day. That's extremely achievable. That is sustainable. And the key thing is that you don't waste your time churning products in your product portfolio. You're, you don't want to constantly be dropping products, looking for the next best thing, the, the next most exciting product this is supposed to be boring. This is your livelihood. This is not Las Vegas. You know, you don't have dice that you're trying to roll. You're, you're not betting on the outcome of a game. This is your livelihood. This is what's going to pay for your car, your house, your college education, um, or whatever else. You know, this, this is what's going to fund your lifestyle. You want to build a sustainable, resilient portfolio of products that are going to sell in boom years and that are going to sell in recession years. That's not hard. It's not hard to find these products. You can find those products at your local Walmart. Walmart sells products that are boring, but everybody needs those products. These are common household goods. If Walmart sells it and it's something that you have an interest in selling, you're probably on the right track. The best product sourcers in the world work in Arkansas for Walmart. That's just an absolute fact. So if you're following in their footsteps and you're following their breadcrumbs, again, you're probably on the right path. You're probably moving in a direction that's going to really benefit you. Yes, it's not your passion product. I know it's not you know, something exciting that's going to get you just fired up. But what will get you fired up is that money flowing into your bank account twice a month. That gets me fired up. That makes me happy to get up every morning and, and do my work and do my product research. And I suspect that after a few months of seeing income beyond what you've seen in your nine to five job, it's what's going to get you fired up as well. It just, it just takes a shift in your mentality, but you'll get there. So if you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe. I want you to think about what you saw in this video. I think you'll find it to be very useful if you just absorb it. And for more videos like this, you'll need to be subscribed to my channel. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.